For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. The NFL draft just started and just wrapped day one. Day two should start in a couple hours. But with the NFL offseason changing how these rosters look so much, I thought this is a perfect time to take a look back at the NFL offseason signings so far and the first-round draft picks to see how it's shaping the rosters for Madden 25 because these rosters of Madden 25 are going to be way different than what you're seeing now. So I'm going to show you guys the teams that we are most excited to use in Madden 25 as these are going to be the teams that are probably going to be used the most in online head-to-head -head and CFM. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be subscribed. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go right into the video. Now, before I get into this video, if you guys want to get a version of the roster that I'm going to be showing you guys, all you got to do is go into the Creation Center, which is right here on the home screen, go to Share and Manage Files, then go to Download Community Files, and then you're going to want to, it takes a minute here to load up, but you're going to want to scroll over to the roster, which will be hitting RB or R1 twice, and then you're going to want to go to the date added and download the most up-to-date, which is going to be around the 26th. I have this one here because it has the most likes and the least amount of dislikes, so obviously they must have did a pretty good job. They also said they're going to update round two. It says updated live, so I guess every time a player gets drafted, they're going to they're gonna upload it, which is really cool, but if you want to get the full Madden 25 roster uh, right now, you have options in the community file section, so check that out. Now, these teams are in no particular order, but we're going to start off with the NFL champions, the two-time champion uh, Kansas City Chiefs. This might be the best team to use once again, as they already have Patrick Mahomes with unlimited throw power, all the abilities in the world. They have Isaiah Pacheco, obviously a very good running back who's moving up in the world as well. One of the better running backs in the league, in my opinion, who's also a superstar at this point, which I didn't even know that. And then you get to the receiving corner, absolutely loaded with Rasheed Rice being a very good receiver, but this game's all about speed, so you have options like Marquis. Hollywood Brown, who they just traded for, is a 97 speed. And the real reason I'm making this video is because they traded with the Bills to move up to get Xavier Worthy, which I can't say that the Bills really made a good decision there. I think they would have been better off just staying and taking this player. But you can see it doesn't have an accurate rating because we're just guessing at this point. So whoever made this roster is just guessing. But 98 speed, I think, would be a light. Uh, outcome. I think that he's probably closer to a 99 speed because he ran the fastest combine uh, 40 in the history of the NFL combine, or at least while they were keeping track. I know a lot of people say Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson before they were actually keeping track might have been faster, but this guy here is going to add speed to an offense that already has a ton of speed, making this one of the most explosive offenses in the game as if it already wasn't. But this receiving core is ridiculous. They have three really good receivers. Oh, by the way, they also have Travis Kelsey, 9 and overall. Next up, we got another team that blew up in the offseason when it comes to adding weapons and through the draft and that's the Chicago Bears which is a team that not a lot of people would typically think uh, I would be talking about since they've been so bad for so long but they put in a lot of work. Caleb Williams with the number one pick I'm sure he'll be a superstar hopefully he's close to like an 80 rating right out the gate uh, with really high accuracies or else he might be a little bit difficult to use in regular head-to-head -head online play but at the end of the day uh, he's got tons of weapons. DeAndre Swift very good running back from the Eagles very fast. Uh, I don't know if he has a superstar ability but he's a very good player. Then you get to the receiving core they added Keenan Allen who's an absolute beast in the slot DJ Moore a superstar player as well so they got two superstar x-factor receivers and Roma Dunze who's going to be a guy that you can build up over time in a CFM but also is a very good third receiver they got good tight ends and Cole Komet and I didn't even know that they added Gerald Everett so I'm not even sure if that's accurate but two very good tight ends the offensive line is solid and the defense is actually not too bad either as they do have uh, some very good defenders including guys like Jalen Johnson who's a very good cornerback um, and some decent safeties. They added Kevin Byard, who I don't know if he's going to be a superstar because I think he lost at the end of the year. But between him and Jabra Jaquan Brisker, they have a pretty good secondary as well. Ultimately, though, this is a video that's pretty much all about the offenses, and the Bears have one of the most exciting new offenses used in the entire game. Next up, we got the Washington Commanders, who are really just a quarterback away for a long time now, and Jaden Daniels might be the answer, at least in CFM, as this guy here is really ultimately compared to Lamar Jackson, and his speed should match. As he has a 92 speed by the guy that created here. I'm not really sure what it's going to be when the game comes out, but it'll probably be above 90. So this guy's going to be an absolute dream to build in a CFM. Hopefully his accuracies are good enough that you can play with him in regs. But they also add a lot of really good players. And Austin Eckler, who's one of the best pass-catching running backs in the entire game. You also added... Uh, actually, they lost a receiver. I shouldn't say they added, but they still have really good receivers in Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson. Two really fast young receivers. That's good enough. But they also added Zach Ertz, who should be a decent tight end, although he's really slow. And on the defensive side, they add a lot of guys to the linebacking core. Guys like Bobby Wagner, 
Wagner, who won't be around long, but he's still a really good player. And Frankie Louvu, who's also a really good linebacker, along with guys like uh, Jeremy Chin in the safety spot, which is probably one of the better, you know, at six foot three with 93 speed. I absolutely love Jeremy Chin. So this team did a really good job of adding talent and should be one of the uh, more improved teams to play with in Madden 25. Next up, we got your boys team, the Philadelphia Eagles. That's right. The Eagles made huge headlines when they signed uh, Saquon Barkley and added him to Jalen Hurts, uh, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, just tons of weapons to go with a really strong offensive line. On the defensive side, too, they also add some players uh, and guys like uh, Devin White, who's a 91 speed. So, you know, they definitely need a linebacker help. He's a very good addition there. In the secondary, they already drafted a guy in Kenyon Mitchell. I'm not going to try to say his name. Quinion Mitchell. That's something I'm going to have to get used to. But he's a 95 speed by this guy's player creation. He ran a 4-3-3, so I'm not really sure if he's going to be that high. But between him and Keely Ringo, you got the cornerbacks of the future. Keely Ringo being 6'2", 94 speed. Uh, Quinion Mitchell being uh, 70, I'm sorry, 95 speed or close to that. We'll find out. But he's also 6 foot tall. So they got a ton of speed in the secondary. They brought back CJ GJ as well. And this is just a really solid team to build in uh, Madden 25. Next up, we have one of my sleeper teams in the Atlanta Falcons from last year where their biggest issue really was they didn't have a quarterback. Well, that problem straight up solved with Kirk Cousins signing a huge contract and them also drafting Michael Penix Jr. Now, this is going to be an interesting situation. If you play regs online head-to-head, -head, you're probably going to want to use Kirk Cousins because he's already built. But if you're in a CFM, I would think Michael Penix Jr. would be the way to go unless you don't want to eat that giant salary cap uh, hit that you would take for Kirk Cousins' massive contract. So, very interesting quarterback situation. I would imagine you could trade uh, Penix Jr for a huge amount of draft picks or players or whatever. That might be the way to go. But it's still going to be a very good team either way. They solved their biggest issue one way or the other. They also have a ton of weapons around him and B. John Robinson, who's also a superstar player already. Drake London, Rondell Moore, Darnell Mooney, all fast guys, and Kyle Pitts. Making this a very good offense. Also have a very good offensive line. And the defense is decent too. But at the end of the day, the biggest addition and the biggest change to this team is the fact that they finally have a quarterback to make this offense work a lot better. Next up, you know this team had to make the list. Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry on the same roster is going to be unfair. This is probably going to be one of the most used teams in the game. And for, you know, for good reason. I mean, those two guys alone are going to make this team an absolute cheat code. Uh, you also have uh, some good receivers, which was never really an issue with Zay Flowers. Uh, Rashad Bateman, some young guys. Uh, they still got to add somebody. They still got Mark Andrews, though, very good player. Great offensive line, great defense in general. I mean, I don't really need to go over this roster. They make a ton of additions, but they already had one of the best rosters in the league. And then you add uh, the best running back in the game, or at least the best running running back in the game in Derrick Henry. And this team's going to be an absolute cheat code. Now, one of my sleeper picks is going to be the Steelers. As they traded for Justin Fields, who could be the quarterback of the future if you're playing in a CFM or in regs, he should still be able to. To run around and be a pretty good playmaker. They had a really good running back in Najee Harris already. They have a really good receiver in George Pickens, but they also have a lot of really fast guys like Calvin Austin, who's been on the roster for a while. And they signed Quez Watkins in his 97 speed. So tons of speed and talent here. Uh, Denzel Mims is still kind of young too. Maybe you could build him up at six foot three, 92 uh, speed receiver. They got decent tight ends. Decent offensive line. They drafted a uh, left tackle in the first round. And we all know that they always have a pretty strong defense. Next up, we got C.J. Stroud and the Texans. They went out and supported this man big time by bringing in guys like Joe Mixon uh, and uh, Stephon Diggs, which is probably the big one. I mean, they have a great three-receiver set between him, Nico Collins, and Tank Dell. The offensive line is solid enough. And the defense has a lot of really good young players, too, with Will Anderson, Daniel Hunter, who they just brought over. Uh, they have some good linebackers already. But uh, their cornerback, of course, is pretty strong, too, with Derek Stingley Jr., first-round pick from a couple years back. Next up, we got the Tennessee Titans, which is a team that might be a little bit better in a CFM to build, as you got good young quarterback prospects like Will Levis and Malik Willis still available. Uh, they brought over a lot of guys, too, though. They brought over Tony Pollard from the Cowboys, one of the better running backs in the game with a 93 speed. They got some receiver help to go along with DeAndre Hopkins, who was pretty much playing by himself last year. They brought in Calvin Ridley, um, who's, you know, once again, very good receiver, 93 speed. He has everything you need. Traylon Burks is still lurking on the roster, too, who, uh, you know, has a lot of talent, 23 years old, can definitely build him. Him up so good three receiver set i think in conquo is a pretty good tight end too at 88 speed six foot three their offensive line i think they drafted a tackle in the first round so they have some young guys with latham 
and um, their first round pick from last year and Peter Skaronsky. So they definitely have options there. On the defensive side, they add some guys too. I mean, this has really been their um, their strength over the last couple of years. They went ahead and added a top-notch cornerback in Legarius Sneed, who is one of the better cornerbacks in the entire game. And last but not least, we got the Minnesota Vikings. This is a team that did at least trade up and get their quarterback of the future in CFM. I'm not sure about real life, but J.J. McCarthy should be an easy guy to build. They got a ton of weapons around him, though. They went ahead and signed Aaron Jones from the Packers to give them a really elite running back that can catch or run. They also have one of the best receivers in the league in Justin Jefferson, along with Jordan Addison, who's a very good player, and uh, T.J. Hawkinson. So a ton of talent around him. Pretty good offensive line as well. And a solid defense. That's probably their biggest weakness is they don't really have a ton of great players on defense. But this is mostly about offenses. There's so many great offenses you know, teams to use here that really switched up in the offseason, making Madden 25 a very exciting game. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.